it's Deb Watson again and this morning I'm going to show you one easy way to do bubbles. Here's what you need and I'll be using this photo from my online class. But first I want to show you how to cut a stencil. You can use old advertising flyers you get in the mail. Especially if they're laminated on both sides, they make good stencils. For this demo, I'm going to use an old photo. Put anything circular on top of your photo and trace around it. To do bubbles, you want several different sizes for variety. So you'll probably be doing a couple different stencils. Then you take a pair of scissors and cut it out. And it's really that simple. Using stencils with watercolor, it works well, especially if you're using Arches paper because it's easy to lift on that kind of paper. I put a piece of tape across mine just to hold it in place. And now we're ready to go. There's a lot of ways to do bubbles. First, I'm gonna show you a stencil. And this is an old advertising flyer that I cut a circle out of. Taking a brush with clean water and I'm re-wetting and activating it around the edges. I just want the edges to be a little bit lighter with kind of a soft blend back into the background color. So it's not like a line. And I take my time re-wetting, reactivating that paint and trying for a soft blend. Now I only do this on three quarters of this bubble. You can see it's, it's not very light. You can use a thirsty brush to lift a little bit of it off. But I didn't do the entire bubble because I'm gonna put a second one right here beside it. This one's a little smaller, and I cut this stencil out of an old photograph. So I'm not dabbing this paint back up with the paper towel. I'm just wetting it, and I'm lifting a little bit off with my brush, but I don't want to lift off too much just yet. And then I come in with my opaque white to put in some bolder, whiter highlights. I'm putting reflections where the sun's hitting it on the outside of the bubble. Kind of right around the edge while it's still wet so that'll soften up all by itself. And I suggest the back of the big bubble, but I soften that up a little bit. If this is reflecting a highlight, it's going to have a reflection on the front of the bubble and also one on the back of the bubble. Bubbles can have almost any kind of coloration. It just depends on the way they're reflecting the lights and colors around them. So there isn't any real right or wrong. Whatever looks like a good bubble to you. Do some squiggles here and there. Does that look like a bubble? I think it does. I want one over her hand. This is dry now. That she's actually blowing out. I'm going to start it the same way. You can always use opaque white to make it whiter and harder edged. But to get those nice soft blends, I think it's easier just to lift up. That's one of the reasons I wanted a good background behind this little girl. 
And I let some of that color go right over her fingers because they would be distorted through seeing them through the bubble. You can also use Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. You can just use a little bit of it around the edge. I think it tends to lift up too much of the paint, but some people like that better. And I want this to look like it's coming out of the bubble wand. So this time I'm going to connect it to the edges of the wand. I'll do a few more random bubbles of different shapes and sizes. Um, then I'll come back and add any white highlights that have faded out. But I think bubbles are fun. If you have a better way to do bubbles, be sure you post it in the comments or share so that other people can give your, your method a try too. If you'd like more tips and techniques on watercolor painting, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my online classes. I think using stencils can make your painting easier and more effective. I've used them quite often in my watercolor paintings. These circular stencils you just cut can also be used to lift out a moon in any sky. Here you can see a stencil cut out of a photograph and where I lifted it up, this time I used Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser and that became some tundra swans flying over a landscape. Painting around things is awkward and stencils can give you a much more beautiful painting. So if you'd like to learn more watercolor techniques or more watercolor painting, just subscribe to my channel or visit one of my online sites. Thanks for watching and happy painting.